You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys, and welcome to another Ask Me Anything session. This is the section of Sound School where you ask questions, we give you answers, or at least we try. Today we are recording live from a park, and there are baby birds, quite literally, <laughs> in the like right above us. So we will have some extra listeners and participants today. <laughs> and Alexia is here. Hey, Alexia. Hello. Okay, Alexia, you have a question for me, right? I do. So Jessica is asking. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. I've been studying English for almost three years, and I'm still not satisfied with my level. But I've lived in the Netherlands, and I feel that it's time to start learning Dutch. So, is it is there an ideal time to start learning a third language? That's a wonderful question. Um, okay, so we've received some version of this question many times. Like, can you learn two languages at once? Or should I learn Spanish and English at the same time? Meu Deus! <laughs> no, it's not a, it's a big bird now. <laughs> it's the That's airplane. an airplane. <laughs> yeah. So Jessica's question specifically is she's studied English for a while. I believe she said three years. Yeah. She speaks quite well. She's and, not satisfied. But she's not satisfied with her level. Maybe she's kind of hit a plateau or kind of feels stagnant with her English learning, but she's wondering if she should start learning Dutch and if that's a smart move. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. In general, the linguistic community seems to agree, and I also agree with this, that once you learn a language, you're never totally going to forget it. So when I say learn a language... I would say like approximately 80%. Like, like you, me. Yes. Like conversationally fluent. You can talk. You can read. You can have conversations with people. That doesn't mean you're not making mistakes. But you can speak and express yourself without too many problems. Right? Okay. Once you reach that level, of course, if you start studying another language and you don't speak English for a long time, you're going to forget a lot of things temporarily. And when you start to speak English again, you're going to be very rusty. Like, it will take you a long time to get back in the process. Yeah, it's all because of the habit. Right. Right. So what I'm trying to say is, let's imagine that you studied English for six months, you learned a lot of the basics, and then you stopped and you decided to learn French. And then... Two years later, you try to return to your English, there's a good chance that you will be starting from zero, right? Right. This will not be the case for Jessica. She will be starting with all of the fundamentals. It will probably just take like a few weeks or a month to get back into the flow of where she began. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, is there an ideal time? Not really. Depends on your life circumstances. Something I always say is, if you want to learn a third language, that's awesome. First, do you already speak two languages? Para bangs. That's very <laughs> impressive. But the more time that you are dedicating to learning Dutch, the less time, naturally, you are dedicating to learning English. So it's a question of priorities. Yeah, it's a question of priorities, but at the same time, like, why not? Right? If she wants to do it. And she feels comfortable with that. Why not? Uh, I can give you a lot of reasons why and why not. For example, nowadays, myself, if I start to learn French, of co to go back to French, of course, I would be extremely frustrated once. I would be frustrated twice because of my English and my French, because I would have to give an attention all my attention to French and not to English mm -hmm. that much. So Jessica, be ready for that. And but it's but but if you keep the habit of like talking to someone in English and continue studying as little as you can, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. 
totally. I mean, it really depends on the situation. For example, the reasons of why not to learn Dutch. I、uh, would, the third language, right? Yeah, or any third language. Let's say, for example, if you are if you work in English or you are looking for a job that requires you to speak English fluently, then that should probably be a priority. On the other hand, if you are not as career oriented and you are a little bit more culturally oriented, you live in the Netherlands. You want to speak the language. You want to make friends and speak with them in Dutch. That's also really important. Yes, so, of course. So, where do you want to spend your time? If you are going to learn a third language, like Alexia said, I would make sure that you have some systems in place where you can just have conversations regularly in English, just to maintain. And not lose anything in the process. Yeah, and the final point is, Jessica. I don't think that we will ever be satisfied with our English level. <laughs> no, and that's good. It is、yes. quite literally a never-ending process. Yeah, there will never be a day when you wake up and say, "Oh, now I speak English fluently." You will always be frustrated. That's part of the point. That's what keeps us going.、A、wonderful question, Jessica. Thank you very much. We will see you guys in the next Ask Me Anything session. Bye.